Last time on the Armor Klung. All is in your hands now. The threshold has been crossed. Now for the rest. Hello everybody. Welcome back to Army Krug. When we last left off, we got stuck for some reason. And it's, it's been about a week since I recorded. You can tell because the cursor is now some weird blue thing. I don't know. I guess they tried to fix the whole cursor issue by replacing it with an, another model. But it still just looks like a... It still doesn't look like the Neverhood Cursor. Because I remember the Neverhood Cursor being a broad, straight-up clay arrow. And this... Eh, I don't know. So, as soon as I get into the red room... Because, for some reason... Alright, so this is as far as I got when I looked up, like, how to effing start this. You cannot start it. With Tominot, even though it looks like you should easily be able to, you actually have to use Beak Beak, because apparently, if the button is like, two inches up on the floor, Tominot cannot use it. I don't know. And that's as far as I got. But, I think I got the, uh, motor thing working now, so... I just figured I might as well just go ahead and start using that. This... I did not take too long clicking on it, but I'm pretty sure if I had not just randomly clicked in that area, as Beak Beak, in that area, I would have been struggling for longer than 10 minutes, probably. I don't know. I really don't want to nag on this Whoa, game too much. yeah, this is great! And the part where Beak Beak speaks just seems kind of out of place. Again, I really don't want to try to gripe on this game, but... I don't know, I really shouldn't say anything until I actually finish it, you know? And I haven't actually finished it yet. And I can tell right here that they're trying to do something like the old game, but... Apparently... And there we go, the subtitle's not working again. I should just... Okay. I better write that down. Now I did that, I'm going to head on back into the heart-beating room. And we're back in the heart beating room. Another thing, I guess, is something I think I am actually upset about is the fact that the music, it'll only play at random. It'll never actually play, like, in each room. That, that is actually a little bit upsetting for me, really. But, I mean, aside from that, it's an, it's an okay game. I mean, I never played the Neverhood, so... I don't think I have any real right to say just what is what in there. I guess right now, I just need to figure out where the, uh... Octopus thing is. There we go. And there we go. Voila! Alright. This puzzle, it seems... Pretty straightforward. Albeit, almost pointless. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. Ah, okay, so this shows me how I need to solve... Oh, no. Okay. This shows me how I need to solve it. I think this side is a long, uh, block. And the other side is... Three, uh... Three dots. Oh yeah, I can tell right here like that. Yeah. So it looks like I think I had to just go back this way and then do it again. That is really simple. Oh yeah, I can see right there it's got a sort of janky, very janky line going on there. I honestly thought it was going to be much harder. Okay, so I think I have no need to actually say here. I looked at these and apparently they're nothing. Ow. Okay, so... Okay, so that whole pe- the be ha pa 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 So the whole thing with the lines... I guess I was... Uh, it doesn't make it- I shouldn't think too hard. Oh. Oh wow. Oh boy. That was... Mm. 
So I heard they built this thing on Unity. I don't know. I don't know. I really shouldn't judge it too much until I actually beat it. I know, I know. That... Oh. That's pretty straightforward. So straightforward, it seems like it shouldn't even be there. Okay. I cannot go this way. Let's see about you. 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 Ooh. I wonder what these are. It's interesting how fast he's going. That is really fast. And now we're here. I guess I have to stop. Yeah. You have to stop completely in order to get out. That's something I can never figure out. Ooh. Oh boy, these kind of puzzles. I haven't had too much experience with these sort of things, so... Eh, this may take a little bit of work. Trying to figure it out. And I think I might have screwed it up already. Yay! Um, hmm. These are just kind of weird, really. I'm gonna figure them out too much. No, come on. But I think the way this works is that you have to make sure these get put on top so you have a place to put these uh, blank parts. That's what I'm uh, figuring out here with this. There's not a whole lot that makes too much sense, but it, it, it shouldn't be too hard of a thing to figure out. So if I put these down here and I move this, which I'm assuming is the next part, over there. And I'll have enough space to put this stuff in here, so I won't have to worry about taking up space. Uh, if that makes sense. So I'll move this over here, move this one down here, put the top piece over here, this one over here, and this one over here, and the door is open! Alright, so now what do we got? Looks like we got, a uh, Another, uh... Great octopus thing. Huh. I don't know what that is. Well, let's go in here. Actually, wait. I should probably write that down. Here out his color. <laughs> oh, hey, look. I'm in here. I don't know what any of this does. Can I move this? Eh, yeah, that did absolutely nothing. Why not if I pull this lever though? Right. Uh, let's see. Maybe I should write this down too. I don't think I need to write any of this stuff down. It seems more like... It's just there for looks. That looks kind of familiar. Yep. Let's talk to it. Oh. Um. Inspire others to great heights, and your objectives shall be reached. Um. Okay, he's already. A small room is a tall room, uh. depending on where you put the floor. Um. Okay, well, captions don't work for that either, I guess. Well, not captions, subtitles. But anyway, you turn the lights off, and oh, there's a... Oh, I saw this in the cutscene. It looks like most everything is already solved, except for the last bit. Which was, what? Okay, the last bit is green. The first bit, anyway. I don't think that should have been that easy to solve. Uh... I'm not gonna start over, no. Something tells me a puzzle like this would take a little bit too much work to figure out like that. Maybe it's because I pulled the lever that I did that. That's not a very good mechanic if it has a random set number because it can... It can almost guarantee, like, solve the puzzle for you. I'm just gonna put BB on that button because I'm pretty sure I need him on there. For some reason, I don't see why Big Beak has to be in this game at all. Oh. One of these. It's a cute fuzzy block. It reminds me of the fuzzy block from Battle Block Theater. Except it doesn't make a cute noise when you step on it. It just has a weird face. Well, I guess that's all I came in here for then. 
Alright. Wonder what that lever the lever is supposed to be used for. Hmm. Come on, beak beak, catch up. I think this is for like the flying bug or something. The flying bug that you're supposed to feed beak beak. And looks like I can go down. Alright. Doesn't seem like I can get in there yet. Where does this take me? Ooh. Uh, alright, I don't need to... I don't think I need to... Oh, wait. Um, maybe I should write that down. It looks like the Russian... symbol, or... What is it? Soviet Union? I don't know. Oh, I know this one. Okay, uh, what did I write down? A uh, down. Oops. Does that not work? Oh no. Oh no, they're different colors too? How am I supposed to tell the difference between some of these? Alright, there must be another one somewhere then. Okay, I'll come back to this later. Maybe this is what it's for. Ooh, whoa, that's loud. Look, clay. That was actually a clay octopus for once. Cool. Oh, cool, it's like an accordion or something. Can I still go in? Looks like I can. <laughs> 